Okay, now that we've come up with the necessary strategic considerations that are closely aligned to getting us the outcomes that we want in our game, the next thing is to now consider the strategic options that we can extract as execution blueprints to pursue in order to get to the outcomes and payoff that we want. We'll first deal with the strategic consideration related to the symptom of guests that are mismatched with hotel and room tiers, which dictates the use of discoverability and psychographics optimized pricing, particularly for third-party booking platforms. Before we dive into these options, however, there is a key and somewhat extensive foundational implication that we have to deal with first that we absolutely cannot avoid. Considering discoverability and psychographics-driven pricing on the third-party platform assumes that we've got some level of control over what the booking platform spits out at the guest that eventually books a room in one of the hotels in our chain. We already know at this point that we actually don't, but there's a step in the value chain that allows us a bit of an in, if you will, to reasonably be able to at least nudge, even to a very small extent, the booking platform in the right direction in terms of the option it spits out at the potential guest if one of the rooms in one of the hotels in our chain makes the list. The booking platform has to get information about the list of hotels in our chain in a given area or location. The list of rooms in the given hotel with associated key information such as room size, room amenities, level of the room floor wise if that's applicable, the reserve pricing for the given room, and so on. There are many T's within the given hotel in the given location, such as the type and size of the pool if it exists at the given hotel, kids play section perhaps, rooftop bar for example, also form part of the key information given to the third party booking platform, along with convenience related information such as transport services, breakfast type, closest things to see, affiliated travel guides or any other value option as part of the stay at the given hotel. The question then is, how are the third party booking platforms partnered with the hotel chain getting access to this information? A spreadsheet or CSV file perhaps manually updated then fed via FTP? It is 2024, but if recruitment websites can ask you for an individual's professional brand description document and still ask them after ingesting the document to refill the same information into a form on the website, then anything is possible. So let's assume that in this instance, the main third party booking platform this hotel chain is in partnership with actually has an integration for hotels that have their own online booking system with a database of hotels, rooms and associated key information and pricing in all locations they operate in. The booking platform picks up this information from the hotel chain's online platform database, say every six hours, and that's what it uses across all hospitality establishments it has partnered with to select and display options based on a search by a given potential customer or guest. For those hospitality establishments that don't have an online platform, typically small boutique or BNB type establishments, there's a standard manual-ish process of filling up a spreadsheet which then gets converted into a CSV file where the data is collected across all these types of establishments and stored in one of the in-house databases of the third-party booking platform. The great part about this manual process is that it gives you an idea of which fields the third-party booking platform likely pulls when doing a search. If we have an idea about which fields are required from all hospitality establishments whose rooms and accommodations are listed on the third-party booking platform, then it shouldn't be difficult to figure out which search information in terms of search fields supplied by the potential guest the third-party booking platform is using to actually perform the search on the various databases. Okay, now that we've bedded down how information gets exchanged between hospitality establishments and the third-party booking platform, we can now go back to exploring our strategic options in terms of which strategic pricing approach would make sense in helping us arrive at the outcomes and payoff that we want. The first option is to approach our pricing via keyword-driven dynamic pricing. What do we mean by this? Let's start with the dynamic pricing first. So, right now, we're giving the third-party booking platform a reserve price for the rooms in our hotels across locations, mainly depending on the season and expected demand pattern. 
both from internal and external contextual information, as well as historical data. So internal contextual information might be that for a given hotel, the pool is being reconstructed or the interiors are a bit dated compared to the market expectations set by new competitors with more modern interiors. External contextual information might be that there's a new event happening in the city, maybe a new moose modeling competition or crooked teeth convention likely to be well attended in the city. You take all this information and update your databases every season across locations, and you also have the option to tweak and update any given information every six hours, which also gives you the opportunity to do a bit of demand skimming of your own. As things stand, the changes you make affect all guests looking to book a room in one of the hotels in your chain on your online booking platform, and also affects every potential guest looking for a room at any given hotel or hospitality establishment in a given location on the third-party booking platform. In the case of the potential guests searching on the third-party booking platform, it's really up to that platform to check the information it has on the potential guest and use that to determine what option it wants to display for the guest to choose from. Now, you're saying that you want to have a say in this process. You want every instance of a search on the third-party booking platform to give you some bit of information that you can then use to decide what room and at what price you want to give as an option from your hotel for this potential guest. For you as the platform operator for the hotel chain, that is your bread and butter. It's not something that's difficult to do. So first things first. You need to make the hotel chain in-house online booking platform dynamic enough to be able to collect a potential guest info in real time in order to perform personalized pricing as they search for a room in a hotel in a given location. The second thing is that you don't want to rely on external info to match the potential guest with a room at a given price in their chosen hotel, particularly if you have a number of hotels within a few kilometers of each other. You want the potential guest psychographics to do a bit of the work as well, to push the potential guest to book a room in a hotel matching what they expect, enough to drive stickiness to your chain. You can use hotel and room descriptions to inject language that speaks to the psychographics that would appeal to or positively repeal a particular guest type that wouldn't necessarily be a match for a particular hotel or room type. For example, when you mention an expensive brand of champagne, wine, or water that forms part of the mini bar in a given hotel in a given room, that would appeal to a certain type of guest and positively repeal a certain type of guest. Similarly, if you mention that the given hotel has a buffet karaoke night on Friday nights where all is welcome, that would also appeal to a certain type of guest and positively repeal a certain type of guest. A guest with veblen and or snob psychographics would not want to stay at a hotel that everyone can access. And similarly, a guest with bandwagon and price sensitivity psychographics would not want to stay at a hotel which has items they deem overpriced in its minibar. They would be more inclined to go with a place where they could get the most value without having to spend more. Next, you have to now integrate this dynamism into the third-party booking platform such that when a potential guest makes a search, when a hotel room in your chain comes up in search results, the description will either appeal or repeal the psychographics of the said guest with the ultimate objective of matching them with the right room. Let's use the three room options we discussed earlier. So if a potential guest is looking for a room in the price range, say, 320 to 370 meows, looking for hotels in an area where a radius of 8 to 12 kilometers would be acceptable enough, we have to match this potential guest with a room not only suitable for their price range, but also suitable for the needs of someone with their profile, so as to arrive at the ultimate objective of reaching stickiness with the said guest. Unlike the third-party booking platform, it's not enough for any guest to simply book a room with one of our hotels. It matters if the said hotel is the type of hotel that would meet their needs. Because we need this guest to attach to our hotel chain's brand, we need them to feel like the hotel values and understands them, we need them to have a good feeling when they leave the hotel, so that firstly, they will likely come back and always consider a hotel in our chain when they are traveling, and secondly, tell their friends and family and eventually take up a loyalty card and be part of the chain's loyalty program. 
It's enough for the booking platform to just take the booking, get paid, take their commission and get on with life. It's not so for the hotel chain. So in the absence of any information about this potential guest, we have to use their psychographics in their and our favor. So in this instance, we are obviously doing a bit of partner management with the third party booking platform in a process of continuous improvement, essentially saying, hey, let's automate things a little bit. We'll do all the integration work and you don't have to expose anything to us. We're just going to feed our inventory to you autonomously. Speaking of inventory, the whole exercise is essentially inventory administration with a gaming twist. If we manage to get the psychographics play right in terms of injecting psychographics tagging language in key fields and descriptions, we're halfway there in terms of our game with the booking platform. Their skimming will not work as well, especially if they hide rooms in particular hotels as a commission's play. The guests will just reject the room because it doesn't appeal to their psychographics. The next challenge is making sure they don't book another hotel chain's room as a result of our chain's matching one being hidden.